There is no one answer, but the one answer I will tell you it is not is 3,000. Every vehicle, the average vehicle, takes at least four quarts of oil. Because not every car is exactly the same. Not every case. Not every oil is designed exactly the same. Raise your hand if you own a car that's more than 10 years old. Okay. Anybody with a car 5 to 10 years old? Anybody with a car less than 5 years old? Okay. Every car is different. Every car is going to take a different type of oil. So. Changing that oil every 3,000 miles, regardless of what you have, that's a dirty habit that you need to break. Why? Why do we do this? Why do we change oil every 3,000 miles? Because <laughs> we're a bunch of rabbits and we just, we're lemmings, we run right off the cliff with everybody else. Whenever you go to get your oil changed, they tell you, oh yes, great, you're here. We'll put a sticker on your window, 3,000 miles, come on back. That's what they tell us to do. They're the experts, aren't they? They're the ones changing our oil for us. Why do we do it? Well, lack of knowledge. I, I don't know how to build a car. I, I, I could change my oil. I know how to do it. Do I do it? No, it's, it's dirty. Uh, during the summer, it's hot as heck outside. I sure as I don't want to be crawling underneath my car when it's 90 degrees out. Sometimes it's, it's difficult. They've changed cars. Cars are much more compact underneath the hood. You can't just reach in and, and take something out. You might have to take something else out to get to something else. It's ridiculous. But it's not just the process of changing the oil that's the issue. It's that, it's really, it's that, that volume. You can go get it changed anywhere. If you go to a facility, they're going to recycle the oil. They'll, they'll take care of that for you, which is great. But, your car, especially if you've got a car that's less than five years old, it's got a sensor. It's going to give you a light. The car in my, my wife's, the light of my wife's car just came on the other day. It said, ding, change your oil. Now, if you want to be like the, the wife from Tim Allen's show Home Improvement, you'll wait for it to start buzzing at you or something like that, which is never going to happen. But that sensor tells you and it knows. It monitors your oil and says, hey, 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 change me, change me. Your owner's manual will tell you, if you read it, I don't know, has anybody here read their owner's manual? No? A few? Okay. Don't be ashamed. It's all right. You're allowed to read it. They give it to you. It's not, it's not a secret. Okay. In the, in the book, it will tell you. Maybe 7,000, maybe 5,000, whatever it happens to be. If you want a Porsche, you're a lucky one. 20,000 miles for every oil change. Pretty amazing. I like that. But you go to get your oil change, eh, 3,000 miles. But the thing says, what? Well, if you look at the owner's manual, besides that, three, it'll say somewhere in there, it'll probably say 3,000 miles. Or if you read the documentation that the Jiffy Lube guy will tell you, says 3,000 miles, it says, oh, under severe conditions. What's a severe condition? You go to Jiffy Lube's website, they got a quiz. Do you have stop and go traffic? Do you drive in hot temperatures? You know, do you do, you do this? Do you do that? There's about a dozen different things. You do any one of them, eh, that's severe condition. Well, what really is stop and go traffic? Everybody's got some stop and go traffic, but is it all the time? We live in Florida, it gets hot. 
Is that really high temperature? I mean, it's not like we're driving in the Gobi Desert or something like that. The oils are different too. You can go get regular oil right off the shelf, boom, it says it's good however long. You can go get synthetic oils. It's a mix of regular oil and, and other lubricants that are not necessarily a petroleum product. Those are good for twice as long as a regular oil. Mobile has an oil that says right on the bottle, 15,000 miles. You don't need to change your oil. That's great. That means now once a year I can change my oil. You got your Porsche, you've only been changing it once a year. But if I had a Porsche, I'd probably drive more than 20,000 miles a year. So why do, why do we believe these people? Again, they're the experts. Well, they're not the only experts. If you go to the manufacturers, right there in the owner's manual, it tells you 7,500 miles, 10,000 miles, 6,000 miles, whatever it happens to be. There's a company called Edmunds, Edmunds.com. They publish all sorts of facts. They've been around for almost 50 years. They've been around since 1966, publishing books on automobiles, on all sorts of vehicles, telling you what the, what's the best right price, what's the best maintenance, et cetera. They tested a car, it was a Pontiac G8 GT. They ran it for 13,000 miles before the oil sensor came on and said, hey, change the oil. They took the oil out, took it to a lab, tested it. The lab said, that oil's good for at least 2,000 more miles. So imagine, had you changed that every 3,000? This is why I want you to break the habit. Use common sense, read your owner's manual. If you've got a newer car, pay attention to that oil light. Drive reasonably, you know, if you, you know, pay attention to how you drive. If you are towing vehicles, yeah, or towing a trailer or something like that, yeah, maybe you need it more often. If you want, you can even go to a, a website, blackstonelabs.com. They'll send you a free kit, you mail it back for 25 bucks, they'll test your oil. If you don't believe me, believe them. But what I want you to do is break that habit. Thank you.